Can you see how dull I look with no blush on my cheeks? We all love blush cheeks, don't we? So hey partners, welcome back and this is episode number 22. So before I start to help you out guys, like make your own DIY blush, let's just know a little bit about the blush. The ancient Egyptians were the first to incorporate blush into their beauty rituals. Ground red okra was mixed with fat to create a red tint. Men and women smeared it around their lips and cheeks that popped against their harsh black gold. Romans used red vermilion and Greeks used crushed mulberries on their cheeks. However, the Middle Ages saw a slight drop in the use of blushes because they thought that blush, I mean the red cheeks, was associated with prostitutes. So then how did the blush come back again into the system? A woman named Elizabeth I England's queen from 1558 to 1603 endorsed the use of blush again. Blush was associated now with being youthful and young. In 1920s, flappers wore blush, 50s, pinups, and Marilyn Monroe and housewife alike wore blush. After that, it all commercialized and took over. And that's when blush were all over the place. Now that we know a lot about blush already, I mean, we use so many things that we don't even know about. How was it invented or how did it even come into the picture? Anyway, so let us start with our DIY blush sheets. So, the things you would require to make your own DIY blush are a container, beetroot powder, glycerin, some earbuds. Mix glycerin and beetroot powder very well using the earbud. You can see the consistency that's exactly how you would want it to be like all now you have to do is just apply it onto your cheeks and girl you are done can you just see the tint that it's forming on the face i mean it it looks amazing right So hope you guys will make your own DIY blush and let me know how did you like this video in the comments below. Bye pandas!